Learn from this illuminating video interview with the VP of Strategic Insights at KBB.com of how they use data and shopper analytics, along with primary survey research, to gain comprehensive insights on the differences between how men and women shop for cars. Well, the nice thing is at Kelly Blue Book, we get an average of 20 million unique visitors coming to our site each month. So we have a wonderful volume of people that we can research. And one of the things that we do is we look to see what they're doing on our site, what pages they're clicking on, how they're working their way through our site, which, which vehicles they're researching. In addition to that, we do pop out a survey and invite them to participate. And amazingly, a lot of people do agree to participate because they trust the Kelly Blue Book name. And from that, we're able to get this added dimension of information about why they're doing the things that they're doing on our site. Why are they researching certain vehicles? Um, what's driving them? What are the motivations? What are their values that are getting them to look at these various vehicles? One of the things that we're trying to do is to create more awareness and to educate the consumer as well as people behind the scenes, whether it's the dealers, the third party sites, and the manufacturers about what makes consumers tick. And so because we're finding out that women do operate very differently than men, again, by educating them, we're hoping to provide better features on our site, for example, or better ways for dealers to interact with the consumers when they come on site. And so those might include women, for example, we're finding out they tend to shop by features and benefits, whereas men tend to shop by make and model. They already have a pretty good idea of which makes and models they're interested in. Women, not so much. They don't know what makes and models, but what they do know is, oh, I need a third row seat, or I need enough room to fit in my pet carrier, or I've got aging parents and grandparents who need to get in and out of the car more easily. So when they come in and they're doing the research on our site, those are the things that they're looking for. When they go into the dealership, they actually, I hear stories of them bringing in the pet carrier to try and fit it into the vehicle. Is it gonna fit? Can they fit two car seats side by side? Those are the types of things that women are looking for when they're shopping for cars. So we try and educate the dealers, we try and educate the manufacturers, and frankly, it's a challenge even here at KBB trying to um, educate the people who are developing our website. How do we make this kind of information more easily accessible to them, to the consumers, that is? I'll give you a story. I was sharing this information with some of our executives here at KDB, and one, one of our male executives was listening to this information. He said, oh my goodness, he goes, I shop like a woman. So the fact is, even though we say women are more likely to shop by features and benefits, there are still a lot of men who shop that same way, right? Just as there are women who shop by make and model. So what we want to do is to make the different ways of shopping available to both men and women, and different generations and different ethnic backgrounds. Basically, anyone who wants to shop for things the way they're comfortable with, we want to make that available to them.